Okay, this is uh, how to, this lesson is about Apache Benchmark, AB, and uh, Memcache. Apache Benchmark is for measuring the performance of the web server, and Memcache is uh, how to make the web server faster, uh, the web, your web application faster. So let's start with measuring. Uh, we'll just use 500 because it takes too long. We will measure the speed of the server by querying 1,000 times Abraham with concurrent 100 connections. This will, in the previous test, it took 41 seconds. <coughs> While I'm recording OBS, it might take longer. So I'm going to show you the benchmark. I'm going to show you the code, the difference. I'm going to explain a little bit and I'm going to show you how, what things did I install to enable the memcache. Sixty six seconds. It's slower. Now let's try the cached version of the same same query. One thousand. It finished in two seconds. So it is about sixty six thirty three times faster, Diva. Right? Thirty three times faster. Not two times, but thirty three times faster. Because the other one is sixty six seconds, this one is two point six seconds. So now let's look at the code. Uh, things that I need to, I needed to install. <clears throat> I installed uh, memcache. This one, you can see. I installed memcache D. I installed telnet. I installed PHP memcache, and then I rebooted. Yen lang. When you install, you configure network to NAS, not in the, here in the lab. Now let's look at the code. The code looks like this. Uh, this is the original code that you already know for the Bible. And this is the original the code with the cache, the cache code. Yeah. It's the same except that I have connection to memcache. So let me explain in four minutes remaining. Uh, I connect we connect to memcache. The idea is we will ask memcache first. So memcache works like this. When we, we can store data in key value pairs. You have a key and then you can store the value. So what we do is so that we will not query the database because the database has 30, the Bible has 31,000 rows, the, all the verses. Whenever we search something, the database has to search all of those 31,000 rows for, the, for Moses or Abraham. So, what we do to make the server faster, whenever somebody searches something, we will save the results into the memcache so that when somebody searches the same thing that was searched previously, we, don't need, we will not ask the database and the database doesn't need to search 31,000 rows again for the same thing, which will give the same result anyway. We will just put it in memcache. Memcache is fast because even if you put millions of things in memcache, the key is sorted and is, I know, is hashed. So they, they know exactly where it is in memory. You don't need to do a memory scan. So maybe it's index scan only or computed scan. So what we are doing here, if there is, a, if the key is in the index already, pag nandun na yung result, we will just echo the word cached, and then we will echo the result, which was done previously. If there is nothing there, 
we will query it normally. And this is the same query and the same formatting and same echo, except that all the echo I replaced with out, ito, this one. So I made a temporary variable named out, and I initialized it to blank, here where the mouse is. And then all of the echo, which used to be echo, instead of echo, I will just out it, uh, append it to the variable out. This one you see, there is that equals out. Uh, out that equals. So I'm putting all the things that's supposed to go to the browser. I'm putting it in one variable. Why? Because I want to store it in memcache, the total output. So after uh, virtually echoing everything into out the variable, I store the the all the all that display into the memcache with the key. Kung ano yung whatever. Uh, I type like Moses. So there is a in memcache, there is a Moses and then all the output of Moses. There is a soul and all the output of soul. Paul, all are the output of soul. So all the things that you search, there is a representative in memcache. But if you see class, there is an expiration. The expiration is 60. You can expire memcache automatically, like you want. Uh, for example, in GPA, maybe bukas iba na yung GPA niya, so you expired it uh, one day. If you don't put expiration, it will not expire, and maybe it will be kicked out when the memcache becomes full. I'm just guessing, yeah. But if you put expiration, it will disappear after that many number of seconds, and if it disappears, it will your code will query again the database, di ba? But at least you will only query the database the same thing every one minute, once a minute lang, di ba? If you have 100 million people querying Moses, only the database will only receive one query and one per minute. And the rest will be just an output of memcache, di ba, di ba? Okay, now you have a picture of this one. That's all. Ano pang, anong tanong pa? Did I miss to explain anything? It is time already. So let's pray for our closing prayer. Father in hand, thank you for the opportunity to learn about Memcache and Apache Benchmark and how to measure and speed up database web apps. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Stop record.